I'm going to show you how to do joins in Tableau Prep. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's jump over to Tableau Prep. All right, before we get started, be sure to download the two data sets. They're in the description below. And I've intentionally made them an Excel spreadsheet and a text file or a CSV. And that's really just to show you that you can combine you can combine different data sets in Tableau Prep all in the one environment. So massive advantage. And we're going to bring those data sets in by simply dragging and dropping. Do one at a time. Go back here and drop the other one like so. All right, so we've got our two data sets in here, and I'm just going to rename this instead of sheet one. Let's call this captains, and that's really for cleanliness. All right, let's start by choosing the fields that we want in our analysis. So I really just want to minimize our data set, and this is kind of a good technique if you've ever needed to deal with really big data sets to just grab what you need. Don't don't process everything. Um, so let's start with just row ID, ship mode customer name and maybe country right so just four that we've chosen once we've done that we're going to hit this little plus symbol and we're going to create a step like so right so we've got our data set there and then we're going to go into captains do the exact same thing hit the plus button i think there's not really much to do in there and we're ready for our join and the way you do joins in tableau prep is so simple compared to SQL compared to Excel and indexes and VLOOKUPs and all the other programs I've used is probably by far the easiest, even Ultrix, right? Is you take one, you hover it over the other and you're gonna see two things, a union and a join. So you're gonna drop it over the join. You'll see that it turns orange. And then a Venn diagram will come up, which is what that little double circle symbol is, right? And I'm gonna walk you through the join kind of properties. I'm going to start up here. This is kind of where the story starts. This is your join clauses. So whenever you're joining two data sets, you're joining them on something that's common. In our case, it's actually the shipping mode, right? That's what that's what's going to link the data sets together. And Tableau is very smart because it can read two field headings that are pretty similar and guess that these are probably what you want to join on. But let's say it's let's say it was wrong, it guessed wrong, how do you reset this? Well, if you hover over the clause and hit that X, right, that will clear out the, the join property and then you can create a new one. So let's hit plus. We're going to go ship mode and shipping mode, All right? Now you can do multiple join clauses, but that's a bit more advanced. But if you do want to learn that, uh, drop me a comment uh, in the comment section saying double join me, right? And I'll do another video on double joins and triple joins and quadruple joins and I don't know, whatever five is, five joins, right? And then we're going to skip this next part, right? And then what we're interested in is this bottom part here. Now there's kind of several sections here, but let's have a look step by step. So we're interested, uh, we're going to get started with this include one. Now what this basically means is, um, it's assessing how many terms are common and how many exist in one compared to the other. So for example, if I'm looking at, let me bring this one down here and we'll just reduce the size. So if I'm looking at the orange one, what this is telling me is there's a total of four rows of data in the orange. Only one of them has actually matched up to something in the gray data set. All right, and there's three that didn't, and vi and the same goes for clean. So I've got 120 rows that match to something, and 2,203 that didn't. Right now, looking at the next section here, it will give you an idea of which ones they actually were. So the ones that are black meant that it's actually joined something. Great. The ones that didn't, you can see, are here. So I can guess that second class and second class. The one in the orange is simply a spelling mistake. Standard class and normal class is actually the same thing. Let's say I'm the, the expert in this data set. And first class only exists in here and gold class only exists here. So we can just leave those out. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the normal class and the second class in the orange stream. So we'll go back into clean two or whatever it's called in your one. And we're gonna rename this. So I'm gonna right click here, edit value, second class. And then the normal class, I think, is called 
standard class. So go back here, call this standard class, like so. And if we come back in here, you'll see that the results, now there's three joins, right? And the only ones that didn't match are first class and gold class. Now we can leave those out, right? Because maybe our analysis is we're only interested in the final results that actually matched. And what that's called is a inner join, meaning we only want to keep anything in this middle section. So let's do a little quick 30 second theory on Venn diagrams. The way it's constructed is you have two data sets. Let's call this data set one. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do a circle. Let's do another one. Let's say I have data set one and data set two. There are going to be some data sets that are common in both, right? That's your inner. It's in the middle. And then there's going to be data sets, uh, uh, rows of data that only exists in one side or, or data that only exists in the other, right? If you want to go, well, I want to keep everything in here, even if it didn't match to anything, well, then what we're interested in is a left inner join. If you want to keep everything in the right and everything that's common, then it's a right inner join. If you want to keep everything on the right, but nothing that match, it becomes a right join. So I'm not going to get too deep into that, but that's basically how the theory works. So for example, let's say in this gray one, I want to keep this first class data, right? Because it's, uh, it's clearly not in here yet. What I can do is I can actually click on this symbol and convert it to a left inner join, right? Or I can untick that or unclick it and click on this one and make it a right inner join, or I can make it a right outer join, or I can make it a full join, right? And that's how easy it is to convert the joining types whenever you're doing joins in Tableau Prep. And that is basically it. So if you like that, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, helps get this content out there. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I do new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so you don't miss out on those ones. So hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye!